All right, Libra, welcome to your weekly sidereal forecast for August 31st through September 6th. My name is Athen. So a couple of aspects this week, uh, Monday and Tuesday, we've got Venus, your ruler, conjoining up to Mars Monday and Tuesday, and the sun opposing up to Neptune at that same time. So a bit of a mixed energy, which I'll talk about. Then over the weekend, the sun trines up to Pluto and your ruler goes station direct going into next week. So let's go ahead and look at this in terms of your chart. Um, first of all, this conjunction, uh, Mars is, uh, he has been in, you know, unfriendly signs. He just hasn't been very well aspected actually, um, since Aries. So now he's finally going into a much more motivated sign where he has much, uh, you know, a clear sense of your drives, your determinations, things like that, especially involving relationships and your values and your finances. I think you'll probably notice picking up steam here in this uh, 11th house of yours. Now, this 11th house is what's really going to be motivating you. Now, it's as the week unfolds, I think you'll be feeling more energy, but uh, you could actually come into this week quite energetic with your ruler uh, conjoining up to Mars. So first of all, with you retrograde, you still are in this internal sort of period with uh, Venus retrograde. There is perhaps some things you're reflecting on, thinking about maybe in regards to uh, the deeper side of things, which is naturally the case when your ruler goes retrograde. But that kind of energy, um, especially relating to self and your intentions, uh, can be quite motivating, especially when it's coming into uh, and contacting anything that has to do with your friends or groups or community related things or ideals and visions, things of that nature, which is your 11th house. And that's where Mars is going to be. That's where the sun has been transiting and Jupiter as well for that matter. So your focus has been here. There's been expansion and um, now energy to implement into those 11th house things, whether it's literally organizations or maybe just ideals you have for the future. It's a really good way to implement and ground that energy. Now, with that being said, uh, you'll probably notice too that there is this uh, importance of uh, relaxing into uncertainty this Monday, Tuesday time period. The sun is going to be opposing up to Neptune, who has been transiting your fifth house. So here with your guys' self-expression, this is also where we had the last full moon. So whatever culminated, whatever kind of awareness or just insight came to you in regards to the importance of rest and relaxation uh, involving your self-expression, involving the things you create, involving uh, the things that put a smile on your face. All of this has been in God's hands, if you will, which has been Neptune. And so what you're, you know, learning, and, and it's really just through experience, and it's not really analytical, it's just feeling it, is that there is this immense importance of having those things that you enjoy, having that passion, going about the process to where it's flowing, it's easy, you're relaxing into it, you're, you know, you're surrendering it. And um, especially when it involves things like entrepreneurship or creativity, anything that's a creative project, especially. But with that, you know, you'll, you'll notice, too, that your energy that is geared towards organizations or communities or ideals right now at the moment can be quite high, whether you're spending time with friends or whatnot. It's just important to uh, remember to relax into your creative pursuits, relax, relax into your self-expression and take it easy there. And naturally, you'll, you'll find a lot of these 11th house uh, things unfolding for you even more so. So with that opposition, it's also seeing really that there is no difference between the things you enjoy and the things that others enjoy or your ideals for the world or for the community. And um, when you see it that way, and it's again, not in analytical, but when you feel it that way, which is Neptune, then um, it, it creates harmony and balance in that area. So anyways, there is that sensitive energy, this lowering of energy, perhaps in regards to that uh, Monday and Tuesday, but the more you are willing to go with the flow, the more you'll find uh, more of that expansion happening with that 11th house. So that's the early part of the week. And then over the weekend, the sun does trine up to Pluto. So there has been a lot of restructuring perhaps in regards to this uh, this uh, communication sector for you. So stepping into your power and communications has been an ongoing theme for many years. And so now very supportive over the weekend for anything involving communications, your thought patterns, thinking, things like that, which is really about stepping into that power to make change um, with these organizations or ideals and visions of the 11th house. Now, the 11th house might also be like what you give and contribute through your work. It might be philanthropic. It might be some of you involved in community things, uh, maybe just technologically online. And so over the weekend, a fantastic time for those uh, areas and I think you'll probably just be wanting to step into that power to make change there and get things done which um, will be a great segue into the following week and then with your ruler going station direct over the weekend you'll notice perhaps some new insights about self about how you are expressing yourself 
asserting yourself and maybe even those deeper things that have been in reflection uh, will start to move forward and those insights you can implement going into the following week as well and this is the 11th house too where we're going to have a solar eclipse for you in about a couple of weeks depending on when you're watching this in regards to major new shifts and major new beginnings involving these ideals or groups or you know um, visionary things community things that you're probably going to start to put an energy into this week. And by all means, it's a great week for it. So Libra, have a good week. Thanks for watching. If you are new to this form of astrology, do check the description down below for more information because it is different. Your sign might be different. But um, yeah, have a good one, Libra. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.